shot there. Fuckers. There ain't no tears in the layer. What in the hell does this have to do with electricity? Don't get along. Maybe I need both of them. Yeah, I should do. Just put one of those back here. That's what I'm gonna do. Two separate fuse boxes. I doubt that. There is two fuses. It's dark in this room because, you know, I, I just tried to put the bulbs from back here out there and um, it didn't work. But all four bulbs, two in there and two up here, they all work when they're put in here, so it's not the bulbs. So it's got to be that unit in the front room. Oh shit, my moon roof is open. Oh hell. About the rain. So, uh, what was my point with this intro? Um, oh yeah, on day two of Mark's visit, uh, we went home from the pool room, and um, he he was curious about the editing process of making a video. So we got on the computer, and I showed him what I do, and. Uh, you know, we're watching pool clips of the day and, you know, we're both analyzing what's going wrong with our pool games. But we focused on Mark mostly and we saw his, uh, his shoulder and his, his elbow was too tucked in. So, um, I never did figure out what was wrong with my game. Uh, I was going to put that in a video, and I, and I probably still will the before and after Mark's play, because he came back on day three and played a whole lot stronger. He made the adjustment real quick. Because <coughs> I think he had, had been through this before, and he, he, had, he just never stuck with it and made it a habit. Um, but on day three... Yeah, he came back stronger after adjusting it, so, um, now I'm gonna show you a video of day three. We played, uh, mostly eight ball all day, and for some reason, at the, we only had like a half hour left, so we just decided, you know, 
then knock some six ball around, play some six ball at the very end. And I kind of finished it up the same way we started. Uh, so, is what it is, and here it is. Albert playing eight ball races to nine, and I finally won a coin toss. And I wasn't having any luck with my break. But not just this day, but both of the days before, they just weren't breaking me. Yeah, it is. It wouldn't matter where it broke from, or how hard I hit him, or how soft I hit him. It's just I wasn't having any luck, and that's the way it goes sometimes. And I tried every spot on the table. This wasn't working, so I broke dry here, like I broke dry just about all day long. And Mark starts to take advantage of it, but uh, something happens. We'll wait and see what's going on. Here. That was a soft break just to kind of test this table because I haven't played on this table in years. This used to be my regular table, but when they moved it to this room, and they screwed it all up when they put it back together, so I just stopped playing it. This is an old Brunswick from, I believe, the 60s, maybe the early 70s. So he's really studying the table. He's ready to play, I can tell, just by the way he's looking and analyzing the table. This is a five ball down here, and this is the one he has trouble with. If you look at the last three balls, he's going to use the, the four ball, which is right here, as the key ball to get on the A. That's what he's figuring out right now. And um, it's going to be a little difficult, but every every key ball on this table is going to be difficult. This is not an easy out. So this here is a six right underneath him. And I believe it went wonky when he tried to get on that six. I can see he's adjusted. He's flared the left uh, shoulder and to his left. So he flared the left shoulder and the left uh, elbow and wrist out. Just a little bit, maybe an inch or two. And it's made a world of difference in this game. Now, here's, here's the problem. Uh, I think he's trying to shoot the six in this side over here. But it has a stun effect coming off the route when he shoots the five to get on the six. Was, yeah, see, it kind of drew back a little bit. So he was either trying to shoot the six up in this corner here and just roll up to a four, or he's trying to shoot it in that side pocket right there, or he was just trying to bump the 11 ball out of the way so he could shoot the six in this side, but that's a that would that would be a crazy shot because that's, that's a tough cut. And it would it would still make it hard, if not impossible, to get on the floor. So let's see what he does here. You remember the four ball over there is the key ball. If he you know if he gets on the four, it's easy to make the eight and win this game. 
And he did get on the four, and he did almost perfect. Mm. But he missed that, that six ball. And, you know, I, I can tell he's here to play, so now it's time to, uh, to play. Hey, Mark. <laughs> Mark. Hey, Mark. Hey, hey you're missing. Mark. Out of my way. <laughs> Go Somebody. Hey, get the hell out of the way, dude. Hey, Mark. <laughs> there you go. Alright, I had made the 14. I could hear it. Yeah, so that's the only shot we missed right there. Old school. Actually, that's not old school. That's a new school. That's the only thing I took from the new school. I don't know where it comes from. I think it's my own thing. You know? Whatever. Let's get on to the next game. Yeah, as you'll see, I break a little bit harder here and a little bit more to the left hand side. But I still break dry, and I'm giving her too many opportunities to walk up over me. I'm going to have to find some kind of way to fix me. Just glad it's my own stick and not somebody else's. Oh, I hit the ball in the hand? No, missed. Where am I? No. Absolutely. 
absolutely nothing I'll uncover that eight for you. No, you can't uncover it for yourself. His problem is going to be getting down on this fiber. It's going to be a little bit tricky. If he's going to do it, he has to do it now. Yeah, that was very well done. Gotta be checking this stuff. Let's go. Let's go. I got this too. Let's see what it is. Oh, man. Yeah, apparently that six ball did not pass the fifteen ball on the right hand corner. So he drew it out onto the line to play the six out on this one. And he should be out of here. There we go. The key is that five ball and getting on it. Good job there, Mark. See, when you're playing at this level, you have to get your grade working. And otherwise, you really have no chance. Your only chance is to fire back at him as hard as you can. And if you just can't get to the table, you know, you're not going to be able to do that. It's No, I had two because I tried to play that ball underneath your ball. And that what was good about that is you know, when you tried to play the ball, you yeah, had a lot of time being able to get off. So we had two hours each. And that's not good enough, but we might be able to salvage some. Well, I have to because we don't have anything. Any and we started out good. We did in the beginning. Yeah, so. I think something happened. I don't know what the hell happened. Went to hell. But it doesn't help when the balls are breaking like that. It looks like he's going to break dry too, so I'm not the only one. I'm starting to think it's the actual rack. <laughs> And from what I can see, they're tight, but there could be a flaw in this rack. And the ball spread great, so I don't know. It could also just be, you know, bad luck. It's just simply bad luck. You know, one of the balls, at least, has to get a good bounce. Yeah, and you're kind of at the mercy of luck. My big problem here is going to be the one ball, and I only have a half a pocket for it. All you have to do is know how to shoot that one ball, 
and you'll make it every time, but um, when I get to it, I really wasn't thinking. I'll show you how to make it every single time you shoot it. You can see I don't I don't have much of a pocket, but it's actually better this way because and you have side rails there. And all you have to do is shoot that one into that right hand rail softly and it should hit the back of that striped ball and go right into the pocket. So to get on the one I'm shooting, uh, looks like the, it's either five or three. On my monitor, my colors are not set right, so I can't tell exactly what all this is. I think that was the five. So, yeah, again, instead of shooting for all pocket on this ball like I try to do, and I looked at this shot a hundred times, my stroke is straight, we had nothing moves, everything was right. I just was not thinking. And I tried to make it in the heart of the pocket. And there's the result. That, that's the result of not thinking. You have to be thinking. And I know that shot. I've shot it a billion times. But I just had a, you know, a senior moment right there. And really, Mark, not a, neat, not a simple out, but... Uh, it's not hard for him to play safe if he gets himself in trouble here, too. You just don't want to do this with a good player, guys. You, you have to, if you're going to beat him, you have to just get down and beat him. And that takes not just talent, but thinking, too. You have to think. So, yeah, that was his problem ball here. And, and most of the time, it, you at, at the start of the game, or as soon as you possibly can, you want to take care of your problem balls. So that's what he did. And here, I don't think he's using the adjustment here. I think he, he went back to his comfort zone on this shot. And you can see he's adjusting while he's down. You don't want to do that. You want to stand back up. And then he kind of reached no. for the stroke, and uh, that's why he missed. And so, you know, he's, he's not the only one struggling a little bit. But he, he left me an easy out, so this shouldn't be any problem. Again, with the long bridge, I should have used a rake right, right there, but you know John. All you have to do here is stay down. These shots are missable. Uh, people miss them all the time. You just 
You just have to stay down on that shot and don't jump up. Make sure your aim is right. Make sure you're lined up right. So I just capitalized on that. Uh, his senior moment. I'm not the only one that has senior moments here. So let's go ahead and move on. The mark gets a little bit out of line, but makes a great recovery somewhere in this game. I think when he's trying to get on the nine ball, maybe. Yeah, I'm having trouble seeing the balls and what's why. What. Yeah, I think he's shooting stripes, and he, he gets a little out of line on the nine ball. And then I think he has to go three rounds. You'll see it when it comes up. He makes a great cut uh, to go three rounds again to get back on the eight. But yeah, he shoots his way out of trouble here. And I believe it's right here where he gets out of line on the nine. He's, he's in line for the 11. I'm not sure why he chose to get on the nine from here, but that's what he did. That's what you have to do. You have to stand back up. And that, that was a good alignment on that shot. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's, uh, he's using his 15 ball to get on the 9. And he either went too far or didn't go far enough, but he winds up on the 50-yard line on the 9. Yeah, he was trying to hold it up, Whoa. and the uh, ball kept on rolling. That's exactly what I so here he is uh, with a very difficult shot. We've all been in this situation. I'm just getting out of line. He can't change his mind and play the 11. The only shot he has is the 9. And, you know, and you, gotta let the you can see over. this is not easy. He's not happy with it. I'm surprised he's not using a rake here. I, I would not be able to reach this shot. He's using a really long rake. But he gets there. Um, and he does it well. And his problem now is getting on the eight ball, which is right here. And there's only one pocket for it, and that's this uh, bottom or top left hand pocket closest to us. So he has to cut the eleven in, and you can get really bad right here if you don't hit it hard enough. And it's a thin cut, so it's really hard to judge. I'm going three rounds and getting back on the eight. Plus you're off balance, you you know, it's, it, you know, so you're sitting on the table, you got everything working against you, you're jacked up, it's a thin cut, and you're going three rounds. Very, very tough shot. But he gets on it, he gets on line on the eight. Did it the hard way, but uh, he managed to do it, and it was a very good recovery from that 50 yard line shot. This is well done. So by this point we're running out of time and we're deciding to play on the table where I used to film a whole lot. I used to play a whole lot on this table. Not so much anymore. Um, and the only reason I'm putting this clip in is I want to show you an unintended shot. I'm really uh, trying to bounce off uh, that second ball and uh, get in line with the four ball, but I don't realize that, well, I realize now that's the six ball, so that's the win right there. I wasn't even really, I don't know, my mind's not all the way here nowadays. So here's a game where Mark breaks, and it's a great break. He makes that two ball 
uh, back four rows in the corner, which is what you want to do playing a six ball. I'm gonna run a nine pack here. But the problem is he gets a bad roll and uh, doesn't have a shot on the one ball, so he pushes out. And I'll tell you the rest of the story in a minute. See, here comes that corner ball, and that's exactly what he now it's going, it wasn't going But right. the four ball rolls up uh, in the way of the, of the so one. Something changed. So he pushes out, and the, the key to a push out is to know your opponent. And to push out to a place where you're confident in taking the shot, but you're also pretty sure that your opponent is not confident with that shot. So that's what he's doing, and he leaves me uh, close, very close, if not on the route. So he leaves me long and in a position where uh, I just don't want it. Um, and I know I can make the one. I'm not real sure if I can get on the three. So I give it back to him, and this is the result. So this here becomes more of the same. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, the guy that breaks dry, uh, the other guy takes advantage of it, and he runs out, and that is that. You have to capitalize on your opponent's mistakes. I broke a little bit harder there, and I'm looking at the five, but running out of poop. Just doesn't get there. Got a big lesson here: is uh, work on your break. <laughs> And I do, you know, I, I do. And I do more than most people. And the pros are always working on a break, but I, you know, I do it more than the average amateur. And uh, I thought I had it now, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's just the way it's been going. And Mark, you know, capitalizes on my mistake here. You know, well, if you want to call a dry break a mistake, which it is. And, you know, that's it. That's how pretty much the hell it, the whole day went. If he was breaking and uh, and he broke dry, I would run out. If I broke and I broke dry, he would run out. You know, there, there are some safeties in, yeah, in here. Right. I could get There's real tedious with this video and it would go out. on for four days, you know. I had to cut out, you know, some of the safety play, and some of the just, you know, botched runouts and stuff like that. Yeah, it was a good day. We both came in back strong. It's just, you know, the big disappointment was the break. Oh, I'm not so straight. I'm just gonna take the long shot. Yeah, yeah. I can't do like you've tried a couple times, and it's not really working to get two out. Yeah. This is one for the books if you get out of here. And that's the lesson of that video. I have a lot to say about that run out. 
this is a little interesting. Mark gets out of line on his uh, second or third shot here. Rooting camera's a little out of focus for some reason. That was a good break. That was a great break, actually. He made the one in the side and the corner ball in the corner that it's supposed to go. It's a little difficult to get from the two to the three. Let's see what he does. Now he's going to shoot it in the side, and that's going to make it hard to get on the three. Because that's the right shot. You just have to baby this. You can't hit it too soft because then the two will never make it in the pocket. So now he's really out of line on the three. It's going to be hard to get on the five. Got him to five. Is that, that was a pretty good shot. Uh, now I'm going to go rail first on this three ball. And if you do this and you put right hand English on it, you have to realize that this is a really thin cut. So there's nothing slowing down the momentum of the, of the cue ball. And I went way, way long. So I have to come with a shot here. And uh, I'm actually trying to bang into the three, but I don't, or the six, but I don't hit it. If I hit it, oh, it wasn't hard enough, of course. And so, yeah, we're kind of laughing about this one. Uh, but I come with it, and I have to kind of draw the cue ball from scratching the side. And so, yeah, that, that was kind of ugly, but I wanted to stick that up there just for entertainment purposes. And uh, I think we're going to call it quits right here. We're running out of time. And uh, that was it uh, for pull. After this, we went out and got something to eat. And then we went to Norris, Tennessee, and uh, checked out the dam and some, did some sightseeing. And we caught it in early night because Mark's plane took off the next morning at, at way early in the morning. So, you know, we didn't stay out partying all night. We had to get up, and then uh, yeah, I had to drive, so I didn't want to be drunk or anything. So that was it. I really enjoyed his uh, company. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We only had three days that kind of put the pressure on us. But it was what it was. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you, Mark, for stopping by Knoxville, Tennessee. I hope you enjoyed it, and peace. Peace.